So I've had a power nap. I've got a few minutes head down to meet the crew. So that is the outside of the door. Only one elevator. Yeah, I need to the stairs. I'm slow. Well, it's uh, five o'clock and they're still out. We're supposed to have a meeting at the uh, hotel, but there's no hotel um, restaurant for the meeting. So here's figure I'd give you a show, show and tell what's around us. It's kind of really pretty here. This section of um, Tokyo. There's a really cool bread shop down here. Show you that. Look at this really neat Japanese bread. Japanese bread stores are are so super cool. So it's the next day. We ended up having dinner and our production meeting was with, the, with um, at sushi, so that was nice. And um, today we're going off and I'm going to film with the naked, who knows, the naked hunter. So it's an old man, he looks like a ZZ Top player, he's got this big old beard. I'll hopefully get to film him, take a picture, get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a um, meeting with him, get a picture with him. And, um, He's going to be teaching me how he finds the hives, and I'll be really interested to see what he, you know, what he, you know, what he does with them. So I am like the student; he's the teacher, and I'm going to be learning, you know, all about it. So stick with me and see where this goes today. But I'm, uh, I need some food. It's early in the morning. I need coffee, so I'm going to check out this Lawson's. So come with me here, and I love the small convenience stores that they have in Japan little fruit section here and this is pretty amazing it's just a dollar a dollar for three bananas that is a deal look at that a dollar right yeah it sure is I like that I look at the size of this beautiful cocky for a dollar everything's a dollar now right it's not bad I'll eat bananas Little vegetable section here. It's like a little community grocery, little bread. Love it. it looks like this all looks local. Meat is probably all local, all Japanese quality. Kind of expensive, as you can see. Well, it's actually not that bad. I'm really surprised at the uh, at the store cost. Eggs. Eggs aren't even refrigerated, they're probably so fresh. They're stacked up here on the side. So, this is really nice. It's really close to the hotel. I'm looking for some coffee. Where's my coffee? Here you go. And again, this is cheaper than it is in Fukui. I can't believe how inexpensive. Usually in Fukui, it's I spend uh, at least two dollars for a coffee. That's kind of nice. Let's get this one right here. Or let's get this, let's get this milk, well, the milk chocolate here. On it. It's really cool. And look, the size, right? The size doesn't matter. This is larger. This is this is uh, how much size is this? Same price. You get. Size there. Um, I don't see the size, but it's definitely smaller. It's the size. It doesn't say. So this is definitely bigger. So I get this one here. It's like a dollar store. It's a freaking dollar store. Everything's a hundred yen for the most part. I'm really, really impressed. It's like a little pastry here. Wow, an eclair for a dollar. You can't beat that. Look at that. Breakfast eclair. That's what I want to eat. Guess that eclair. Or, um, I'm going to get one of these. These are great. This is um, has a uh, cream inside. It's kind of nice. And all these drinks a dollar. Wow, they must be competing with the 7-Eleven down the street. This is actually really cool. 
Maybe take a drink for later. I love these, look at these great fruit things. So they are definitely, all the potato chips are only a dollar. It's like a dollar store. I've never seen something, I can't imagine finding something like this in Tokyo. Clothes are through food section. Again, everything for a dollar. This stuff would be, this is really, really amazing. And they've got this little cleaning area. This right here is the coolest convenience store I've ever been to, and it's in Tokyo. It's a dollar convenience store. I guess it says one dollar, lost the store 100. It's a hundred yen, like a hundred yen convenience store. I've never seen one of these, I just happened to go into it. And it's, 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 it's truly amazing. So if you're in Tokyo, and you want to eat for cheap, look at this. This was, you know, I bought a coffee, a drink, a group of bananas, and um, juice for later for four bucks. You could eat basically really cheap just shopping here. You know, you could eat for a couple dollars a day in Tokyo, and that is just insane. So if you're on a budget, right here, look for that sign right there. Go to Tokyo. That looks like the um, Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> Doesn't it? A little bit. Sushi. Yeah. Looks like a Atrashi. And now every city has one of those Ferris wheels. London. Sumebachi hive over here. It's in the ground. And this is the old Sumebachi. You're going to see them flying in and flying out. And they're flying along the bottom. So I'm not going to get too close. But he's going to go in here with no protection at all. And I think it's around where the uh, bamboo is coming up there. On there. So. earlier, you are out running around. So I'm here, Chiba. And there were, there's one, it flew out. But the only thing I'm going to have for protection is uh, this stick. From back and down. And, uh, there's one. So I'm guessing, right, here's another one. See him flying around?
exa- I know exactly where it is. I know exactly where it is. It's between the two hives there. It's between the two bamboo sticks. You see there's the curvy bamboo. It's between the two back bamboos. You can see them all flying around in there. And there's a lot. They're gonna be in close. You know, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna let him lead the way. I'm not gonna be up close. So this is this is probably the most dangerous thing I'm gonna be doing here. I could end up dying. That walk he just keeps right on me. Basically, they're off scouring. right between the two. There's another one here. I don't know if you see that. Spawning the nest. Watch out to your right there, buddy.
so the guy just brought out um, this is what it looks like Susan Ibachi my look at that yeah uh, there's one right there we need so There's one right in here. You can see it wriggling around. And the larva. Oh, there's one right here. He's trying to bite his way out. Look at all the larvae in here. You can hear the uh, grubs moving around. Here's what I'm going to eat. This is my lunch right here. I'm trying to get out. The tweezers came in handy. I think I'm going to get the grubs that are, uh, we should eat the grubs that have been are covered and not the ones that are out. Yeah. Oh, that's a Yeah. We're going to eat these. You got to have it. Have it. I want sake though. So I'm back from uh, hunting uh, bees and I'm at my, my new friends. So they're having a, my new friends and they're having a farewell party. He's, he's leaving. Where are you going? Come with us.
Osaka. He's going to Osaka. 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 And uh, his sweetheart, who doesn't know it, what's her name? What's her name? Uh, Yuko. Yuko, the most amazing violinist in the world. She just played, and he completely is enamored and in love with her. <laughs> and completely enamored and in love. So I'm here relaxing after a day of uh, with my new friends. My hotel yeah, down there. Like yeah. <laughs> 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 I didn't die. That was my that was our celebration. I said that if I didn't show up tonight, it meant I, I died. So I made it here. It means I lived, so I, I lived. So we're drinking a few beers, so, so.